This movie is rated PG. Parental guardians is advised. So this, this this is my cousin. Oh, God forbid. No, this, this is my friend's sister's cousin's uh, niece. The, 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 the. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, this is not what you. Please, this is not what you think. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. She she, she 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 doesn't really matter. All right, please. She, she she doesn't mean anything. Okay, just just overlook her. She's not even existing. All right, babe. Hey, this is my cake, baby. Babe, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Please, babe, 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 babe. Please, babe, 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 babe. babe. Ah, she holding the door. You need to stop worrying. You should be used to men's irrational behavior by now. It's in their DNA to cheat. Why must I be used to their rational ways? Why must I? Why can't I find a good man for once? Why can't I just find someone that's loyal? Someone that is true? Why must I be the one getting this advice from you all the time? Why? You know, me. You know Steve and I were engaged to get him married. And now he did this. Babe, this is the real world. We only take what we can get. Yes, I know that the heart wants what it wants, but only destiny can decide who stays or goes in our lives. Come on. Babe, I know you've had a lot of sorry dates, but you cannot give up now. In every 12, there's always a Judas. Why have I met 10 Judas? Where's my Peter? Where's my Paul? Why can't I find them? All oh, this is even thanks to you. And what's that supposed to mean? Because you keep telling me to try, 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 try. I am tired of trying. And how exactly is it my fault that the guys you meet are not right for you? 
Maybe I shouldn't be taking relationship advice from someone like you. Um, what's about my advice that jinx your relationship? Just look, you can't really give what you don't have. Let's be honest, Nadia. You like one off relationship, you like flings, and I want stability. I want marriage. I want something serious. That's what I wanted. That's just what I wanted. Hey. I know how you feel, okay? But you are going to get through this. to really go through these resumes. You know I'm having my interview on Monday, right? Babe, please hurry up. I have to go. Must you go to work today? Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at all this. How am I going to get this done at home? Hmm? Baby, Saturday. You know I love you, right? And you know I love you more. Why don't you stay back today? Uh, and do what? I have work. Hey, please. Hmm. I see my wife in you. Not this morning, please. Let me get this. <laughs> you always see your wife every day. In Can me. you just, just stay with me today? I want to spend more time with you, baby. Okay. How about on Sunday, please? I insist. Today is Saturday. You must not work. Please. But. Please, baby. I am the one asking. Okay. On one condition. Let me. You must take me to my favorite restaurant. Done. <laughs> there you go. It is done. Come on. This is beautiful. <laughs> Even better than the other one. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. And the environment is so serene. Anyways, I know my friend has eyes for good things. <laughs> Look at the fabric. It's so nice. You like it? Nice cabinetry. Of course, I love it. <laughs> nice cabinetry. Everything is just cute. Anyways, <sighs> how are you feeling now that you're in a different environment? I guess I'm, I'm okay. Everything feels different, new, serene, like you said. It's really not been easy. I have been thinking about Steve. He keeps calling me. I don't want to have anything with him again. Calm your nerves, okay? Your decision to not speak with him is a good one. But I want you to know that you are not going to forget about him in such a hurry. It takes time. I'll be fine. Anyways, you promised to come by my house last weekend so we could go to the cinema and you failed. I did not forget, I promise you. Hmm. My dear, it's not really been easy, like I said. I couldn't drive myself. 
I couldn't even drive to work this week. I've really been feeling down and I've just been using cabs everywhere I go. Easy peasy, okay? You know what? My cousin actually works at a driver's outsourcing company. Would you like to get one? I could speak to him to get one for you if you don't mind. I would really be grateful. Really? As it is right now, you have been my helper, Nadia. What would I do without you? Nothing, actually. That's the truth. <laughs> Thank oh you so Oh my much. goodness, this is lovely. Come, come show me your bedroom. I want to see it. You still want me to give you a tour? Yes, I didn't take a proper look at it before. I want it, to see it again. It's your house. Come! Stop acting that way. Come here. <laughs> So, what are you saying about low-cost housing? Well, as much as I'd like to agree on the low-cost housing scheme, for the sake of humanity, it's still not good for business, you know? It's not good for business? Mm -hmm. How so? Because it's affecting our investments. So what about the poor? Where do you expect them to lay their heads? We are not a charity organization, Ms. Shokaya. Yeah. Profit, profit should be our watchword. I do agree. But you know something, Mr. Rashidia? I have built Cave 10 Realty from scratch. Mm -hmm. And over the years, we have maintained stability and most importantly, unquestionable reliance. Mm -hmm. At this point, we're not ready to deviate from the cause of humanity. Really? Even if it jeopardizes your chances of a merger? I still will not compromise. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Mm -hmm. Hello, Nadia. Hey, darling. So, the driver from the agency is on his way to your office. He'll call you. Lovely. I'll be waiting. All right, bye later. Thank you. I'm just going to ask you a few questions, okay? So tell me about yourself. Well, uh, my name is Jidin Naokoli. I am a hardworking, uh, passionate, and very careful driver. I possess a degree in mechanical engineering and 10 years of experience as a driver, professionally speaking. I can drive just about anything from a saloon car to a bus to a lorry. Good. So what makes you feel you're the right candidate for this job? Well, um, my skill set, combined with my knowledge, makes me the right fit for the job requirements. And what about vehicle maintenance? What are your skills on that? <laughs> well, madam, as I said earlier, I possess a degree in uh, mechanical engineering, and this gives me working knowledge of just about all the major parts of the car, from the engine to the brakes to the steering to the transmission. And with this knowledge, I can you know, service just about any vehicle. Interesting. Your files, please. Uh, yes, madam. Yes. This is yours? Yes, ma'am.
Are you sure you're familiar with the roads in the city? Yes, ma'am. Hey, girl. Yes, he's actually driving now. Pretty cool. Thank you. And thank you for all that you do, Nadia. Please, make sure you take the road to us at Mirati Way. I'd like to stop at the ATM, okay? All right, ma'am. Thank you. Madam, here are your keys. Please, if you need anything, anything at all, no matter what it is, don't hesitate to call me, ma'am. Thank you so much. And, and madam, what, what time should I come around tomorrow? As early as 6 or 6.30. All right, madam. very much aware and I would make some changes. All right. Be rest assured that I will do it. Thank you. Um, Jirina. Um, about yesterday, yeah? Oh, oh I... madam, no, don't, don't worry about it. It is okay. I understand. People go through very, you know, difficult periods and at certain points you reach a, like a crossroads of sorts. When I got to that crossroads myself, it was the music that helped me deal with it. Music? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, madam, the struggles in life, you know, are what inform our good old days laughs later in the future. You're right. I like your view of life, you know. It's very lively and very positive. <laughs> madam, I better be lively. It's the only thing that keeps us alive in this, in this hard country called Nigeria. Everybody just a paddle in your okay, no? Mm, just keep looking forward and hoping for the best. Just let the chips fall where they may. Bam! You get it. You're also <laughs> a clown. Please get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Can we think they talk now? Which kind of matter be this one? Eh? 
Which kind of party you do by 4 p.m.? You'll be woman. Why not chill now? Let's do this thing by 8 p.m. in the evening. That's, um, that way I go, I go make the party. Guy, I know if you do that nice stuff for you. You know, say this landlord wife, they disturb me well. And we never complete our rent. Not true, Sha. Not true, not true, not true, not true, not true. I, I go tell my madam, Sha. I go tell my madam. Tell you, madam, what? Madam. I asked the question. Well, a friend of mine is having his birthday party. And you want to go? <laughs> yes, ma, but unfortunately, uh, it's not the right time. Please open the door and take me to the restaurant across the road. Yes, ma. Madam, I can always take you home or, and drop you off before I head out. There's traffic along that road. That's if you don't want to miss your friend's party. Thank you, Ma, for the permission. It's fine. I guess now you can see that I'm not a cutthroat boss, huh? <laughs> I never said you were. Are you sure you don't want to join me for the for the party? It'll be fun. There are lots of you know, drinks and good music. And, oh you know. no, I'll pass. Uh, Madam, are you sure? You know you've not been in the best of moods lately. This would be a perfect opportunity for you to relax, you know, unwind and maybe have fun. Keys. Uh, why? Jidena, I can drive myself, you know. Give me my car keys. It's, it's too risky, okay? Let, let me drive you. you. You've drunk quite a bit. It wasn't that heavy, you know? 
Doesn't matter. I will drive you. I'm your driver anyway. Your friends are funny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Home sweet home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so home sweet home. Please sit down. Yeah, let me get that. Thank you. I had a good time, Jidena. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, they're so clownish. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. Ah, uh, you can say that again. Uh, let me be on my way then. Hmm? Isn't it late? Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's risky out there and it's late. Mm -hmm. Okay. You shouldn't be driving out at this time. And I would want you to keep me company. <laughs> and we can have some champagne. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well... <laughs> I like champagne. <laughs> careful, careful, man. I like champagne. I like champagne. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I like shame. through me like water through a splashing upstream on a hot day. I love the way that you look at me like there is no tomorrow when I'm caught up in a movie scene of dread. But now is the only time I know. For us to get ahead By being still and moving slow And holding on instead And I just don't think it'll be the same ever again So can we just stay right here? trying to sneak out on me now top of the morning to you good morning to you too uh, no i wasn't sneaking out i just wanted to dash home freshen up change and then come back and resume work my house is big enough you can freshen up here <sighs> i promise i won't surcharge you thank you I had a good time last night. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the reason why someone wasn't taking her calls. And while you were here having fun, I was busy thinking that you were still brooding over a heartbreak. Newsflash. I have gotten over that already. Let's just say I decided to take an advice from my darling friend. She said, suck it up. It's better to cry for 15 minutes for an hour or two than to spend the whole day feeling Miserable. Oh, please do not associate me with your whoring life. <laughs> Where did you find this one again? It's going to be a long story. I don't know where I will start from. Start talking. I have all day, okay? What 
Come to think of it, are you not supposed to be at work by now? Where is your driver? Why is he not here? Yeah. That's a very good question. My driver just left. What do you mean you Shut up! It's a lie! It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn! Babe, <gasps> uh. isn't it too early to start a... You know what? Doesn't matter. What matters is that you are happy and you've gotten over that guy, okay? <laughs> um, you sent for me, ma'am? Yes. I was wondering if you know any good African restaurants? African food? Mm -hmm. But why don't I just make it for you? I can basically make every Nigerian dish. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm a very great cook, madam. You're a chef too? Well, I wouldn't describe myself as a chef, but I, I cook very, very well. Oh. Okay. Why don't we go to the market and get some ingredients then, huh? Okay, of course. <laughs> Miss Shoke, yeah, guess what? Saw that realtor about the close down of deals to develop mini malls. I think we could apply. We have everything, everything it takes. Well, that's good information, Rashid, but not now. I'm done for the day. You should take some rest, okay? Let's go. If you don't say the words, I try to listen to your thoughts, my dear What you want, tell me what you want to get it done Yeah, 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 you know it's true That your eyes tell me more Closer to you And I can feel your heart getting pumped up If we hold hands till we fall asleep Still trying to kiss you in my dreams And if I can't reach you It's gonna be like I'm drowning deep So deep without you Without you You're tired, baby, tired by the fire Tell them I tell you don't catch in my heart Oh, you don't give me magic That's why you give me charging When I didn't see I feel like a bird Fly high, say I fly past it yet Oh, you don't give me magic So? How's it? Mmm It tastes heavenly <laughs> I love it when men know how to cook, you know Yeah, well I have my mom to thank for that She made sure I learned everything there is to know about Cooking, cleaning You know, domestic stuff she must have been amazing. She was. Please, enjoy. Enjoy. It's too late. I'm halfway done. <laughs> <laughs> Are you almost ready? Yeah, just about. I, I hope you don't mind if I ask you for a little favor. Are you okay? Yes, I just, uh, I need some money, financial support, you know, to sort some problems out. Is that why you're doing like that? Well, I, I don't know how to approach this. I'm just... How much do you need? Anything you can afford. I don't want to put any pressure on it. Whatever you can afford, no pressure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let me finish it, my. Okay. Sent. 
Oh, okay, cool. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let me just tie this up real quick. Two, two million. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we go now? We're going to be late. Yes, 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 indeed. Uh, let, let me give you a bag. No. I insist. Yeah, what's going happen now? Buy your offer now. So I don't dare the door like this. <laughs> okay now. Oh yeah, now it don't happen now. And I don't see as not like this. Not the alright. So I go. I'll carry you now. Come out. Drinks on me. Chops on me. Tricks on me. Everything on me. Why you go there the door? Oh yeah, she has come out for now. I do, I do, I just my shoe. Where your shoe? Where you go? What's your uh, 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 do something for my people together. Uh, 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 Hmm. You watching a new film? Well, not exactly. I was actually reading, but yeah. So, I am looking for a new driver. Why? Is it, is this something I did? Why are you trying to get rid of me? <laughs> Why am I trying to get rid of you? Firstly, I wouldn't want my man to be my driver anymore. Okay. So on that note, I would like for you to look for a business that you can start. Any business. And I'll support you 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you. I will never forget everything you've done for me. Thank you. Thank you. We have a business to start searching for. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, that's one of my favorite series. Oh, really? Uh -huh. I'm actually on the final episode. <laughs> Girl, I must admit you are glowing. Am I? <laughs> well, that's what happens when you have a good man in your life. Jirena is making me glow. Well, I can see that. <laughs> but I still do not understand why you have chosen to date downwards. That guy doesn't tick all the boxes if you ask him. Well, let's just say I feel secure. At least I don't have to feel nervous that other women will be chasing him about town. Oh, wait. Is this about romantic security? Come on, girl, you should know better. These men are slippery. You can never be too sure. Mm -mm -mm. Not with this one. I am 100% sure about Jidena. He's good. So... What is this then? Is this just a journey to El Dorado or another trip to hell? <laughs> Which hell? Girl, I say you don't know what's going on. This is more like a long trip down to the altar. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> I bought a ring. A ring? Whatever for? Yeah. I'm very serious about it. Jidina and I, we are literally inseparable. And I'm taking him very serious. I feel he's going to propose to me very soon. So, 
I bought a ring. Of course, just in case he buys something cheap, you know, something that's not of my taste or my style. I'll just say, surprise! Pop, <laughs> Pop it up. Ah. <laughs> I can't believe I am so expectant. Wow. <laughs> Girl, you never cease to amaze me. Blame it on sweet baby girl kind of love. Hmm? <laughs> okay. <sighs> hey, babe. Hello, my love. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. Mm. Welcome back. Mm, thank uh, you. I'm kind of feeling famished, you know. I wanted something to eat. My favorite Chinese rice. Why worry? I'll just... Hop into the kitchen now, whip up something for the both of you. No, stop. No kitchen. No. No. We can just, you know, go and get it at that restaurant, okay? Right, Nadia? Mm -hmm. Not not bad. Look, I insist, okay? It's not difficult. I'll just enter there, make poundo and white soup or something. No poundo, no white soup, babe. And I insist you do not. Fine, fine. I'll go and get you Chinese food then, eh? Thank you. <laughs> Don't be long. Okay. <sighs> you see, Jirina is one in a million. He just makes me feel so complete. Hmm. <laughs> you say so. Mm. Mm. Oh no, he left his mm. phone here. Mm. And his wallet too, I guess. Mm. 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 What is it? Mm. Mm. What? Oh my goodness. What is it? Wifey? Wifey? <laughs> Wait. Oh, uh, could this be his daughter? Oh my goodness. Man! We can't be with them and we can't be without them. Mm. It's wifey again. Mm. Pick up, pick up, pick up, please. Pick up and find out what's really going on. Pick sure. up. Just, just, just pick up. Just pick up. Okay. My husband, I've been calling for some time now. Are you sure you're okay? Just know that Purity and I love you and we can't wait to come to Lagos to come and be with you. This Yaya landlord is really disturbing us. Hello? Hello, Dimoma? Are you there? Why am I always unlucky when it comes to men and love? Why me? So you mean this guy took me for a fool all this while? <sighs> Babe, just take some water and calm down, okay? Oh. What did I do? Yeah, you, your phone. I don't want to. Just leave me. Just. You really need to pick up. It could be one of your clients just calling. Pick it up yourself. Fine. Yes, hello. What? What? Uh, what? 
it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dinner. What about him? He was in a fatal accident. <sighs> She's calling again. My God. But, but you, but you have to pick this up. What do I tell her? The truth. What truth, Nadia? What truth? That her husband is dead. Oh God forbid! God forbid! to pick up and tell her. My husband, what is happening? You're scaring me. Um, madam, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that your husband is dead. What? He was in a fatal accident. I'll just have to send you the address so you can so you can start coming. What happened to my husband? Who killed my husband? How did he die? Hey! She came home, my enemies are finally succeeded. <laughs> hey. Madam, your husband was a driver to my friend here. He was a good man. He was hardworking, diligent, committed to his job. And on that unfortunate day, he set out and said he was going home to sort some things out, but fortunately, he met his demise. Hey! <laughs> How can I live with this pain? How? You did not call it. You promised me and your daughter a beautiful life. You did not call it. You better come back to me and finish what you started. You did not. You, you promised that we would join you in Lagos. You said you would you would make me the envy of all women. You said you would train your beautiful daughter to her PhD level. Who gave you the permission? Who gave you the permission? Oh, damn! Madam, please calm down, please. You should have just told her the truth that I killed her husband. I killed her husband. I foolishly sent him on an errand that made him meet his death. I feel so guilty, Nadia. But God knows I am so sorry. It was you remember that night I was just here, it was an intentional. Pandora, I did not tell her because she might misconstrue everything and eventually say that you killed her husband. But I did! Shh. Did you know? Shh. Come on. She might be within earshots. Listen, that man lied to you. And your empathy towards his family is misplaced. So calm down. My God in heaven, the father of the fatherless, the defender of the defenseless, I beg you in my pain and in my sorrow, 
I don't know what happened to my husband who came to Lagos seven months ago for greener pastures. If he was killed, I want you to fill his killer's heart with compassion for a wife who has lost her precious husband to confess to this crime. God, if they refuse to confess, visit your wrath upon them, release the coals of fire to destroy them, pay them back a million fools for that which they have brought upon me. Sorrow upon sorrow, bring upon them confusion, Lord, as they have given me tears for breakfast and heartbreak for lunch and sorrow for dinner. Ah, Father, give them blood for sweat. I give my everything to you, but you have shut my heart inside the locker, inside the locker. You know I'm the deepest, I cannot take your excuses no more, no more. Uh, soon go like regular, cause I'm done going in circles. I know yes, auntie. He's going to be laid to rest today at a cemetery here in Lagos. Yes, I I'll try. Thank you. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it. Yes, um, Beauty is still sleeping. Okay, Auntie, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you for your kindness and hospitality. Not all employers would be this nice to the family of their deceased worker. I understand, and you're welcome. Your husband was a very good man, very ambitious and very tenacious. I'm really sorry about your loss. I'm sorry, and I hope God gives you the strength during these tough times. Yes, he was ambitious. And he talked so much about his driving job. He said it was more fulfilling than any other job he's done in his life. He really wanted the best for me and his child. I know he struggled, but death wouldn't allow him. Who am I to question God? Indeed, he does. <sighs> yes. Hmm. We'll be going back to Benin tomorrow. It's really, really going to be tough for us on death. Why me? Why us? Why us? Please, ma'am, please stop crying. Just be strong, please. I have lost a loved one. I may understand how you're feeling. No, no, you do not understand. His family, they don't like me. And he protected me from their claws against all odds. 
Now who would be my protector? Who would protect me and my child? <laughs> you... You and your daughter, you... You don't have to go back. My life is there. Life is not meant to be lived in one place. And you said your husband had plans to relocate you and the family to Lagos. So why not make his wishes come through by staying here? I promise I will do everything that I can to help in my own little way. I promise. You did what? You heard me. I told her to stay. Andora, have you gone mad? I don't know. I guess I just felt guilty. Maybe this is how the guilt can leave my head. No! Actually, this is a way to implicate yourself. Can't you read between the lines? I can't even see any lines right now. Nadia. Oh, please, please, don't patronize me. Are you trying to tell me that you're feeling guilty over a man who did not even tell you about his marital status? Yes. Yes. It was my fault. If I hadn't sent him out on that errand that day, he wouldn't have... He wouldn't have been killed. I dated another woman's husband. I dated that woman's husband. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, you didn't know. <sighs> and stop with the pity party already. It is what it is, and that's the truth. Yeah, please come in. My daughter Purity was craving smoothie, so I made for her, and I also made for you too. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Look at you. Just say you want to run because I am beating you. Why would I run now? Why is it just to win? Who will run? Which jazz? Which jazz? <laughs> okay, 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 fine. How do you explain all, all these sixes that you keep getting and, and five consecutive wins? Me losing five times. It's called skills, babies. Maybe you should get some. Mm -hmm. mm, Shall sh allow me win this one. Shall allow me win. Hey, now you have begged. It's not begging, it's called. Mutual agreements. Mutual call. Mutual agreement. <laughs> you are who? <good. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Do your juju now. Do your juju. Hey! <laughs>
Ama. You're back, ma. <laughs> yes, I am. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Ma, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes my work can be quite overwhelming and it takes a lot of toll on me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Nothing a warm bath can't fix. You can say that again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everywhere looks super duper clean. Ah. Thank you, Oluchi. <laughs> Ma, that's the least I could do for a woman who has given my daughter and I a roof over our heads. Ma, I cannot thank you enough. No, really. I guess this is a new lease of life for me and my child. Don't mention it, okay? Thank you. Oh, and one more thing. Yes? Please, stop calling me Ma. I have a name, you know. Call me Pandora. All right, ma. I mean, <laughs> all right, Pandora. That's more like it. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry. I'll I'll come up soon. Thank you. Oluchi, I'd like to ask a question. What business do you think you can do? Um, Ma, I don't really know, considering that this is a new location. But maybe I can be your housekeeper, yes. Maybe you will pay me at the end of every month. Mm. I don't think I want you to be my housekeeper. I think I want you to do more. Anything else that you like doing? Okay, before Jidina married me, I was working as a sales girl in a small supermarket. But after our marriage, he taught me how to cook, and then he opened a small buka for me. That's really nice. So you know how to cook? Yes. Yes. Hmm. And why don't you just start your own food business? Yes, ma. Even pastries. I can cook and supply pastries to your office. You can make pastries? Yes. OK, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a trial on this. Make me some delicious pastries and some nice meal tomorrow and bring to my office, okay? I'll try it and tell you my review on it and then we'll take it from there. Ha! Ah, all right, <laughs> ma. All right, ma. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm um, sorry. Pandora. <laughs> Pandora. Yes, ma. Pandora. You're welcome. Thank you so much. God You're bless welcome. you. God bless you. <laughs> my favorite meal is jollof rice. Okay. <laughs> I'll make whatever you want. Miss Shoka here, it's not that real estate is not doing well, but sometimes we need to enter, you know, spread our tentacles into other smaller markets here and there. You see, poultry farming does not require high capital to start, to start one, but a property investor can. And with this birds don't even cost so much to, to raise. Miss Shoka here. Miss Shoka here. Yeah, um, you were saying we need, no, we don't need, Jesus. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Really, Pandora, I just spent 10 minutes giving you an unsolicited monologue and you just sit down there and respond to me like that. You're impossible, Pandora, so impossible. <coughs> Is that my cue to leave? Please come in. <laughs> good afternoon, Pandora. Ah, good day, Oluchi. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Do you have something for me? Yes, I brought this and this. Donuts? <laughs> okay. Mm. This is very sweet. Thank you. And just for variety, I make sandwiches too. <laughs> you also made this for me? That's so lovely. Please bring them all in. Thank you. You like it? Not really. It looks familiar. 
familiar. Yeah, um, they... You know, nowadays they're not, you know... They're not new bracelets out there. They're not that creative with these things. They all kind of look the same. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for these, I... It's my, it's my friend's bathroom. Yeah, you like them? You're fine, Abby. I, I, I really have to go. Eh? Let, let me call you back later. Eh? Ah, thank you. What a long day. Ah. I have something for you. You do? Mm-hmm. What is it? My <laughs> business. <laughs> Chop now now by Oli. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you so much, man. Thank <laughs> you. Wow, th thank you. You're welcome. And another good news is that Purity will be starting school soon. Are you serious? Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 Thank you, man. Thank you so much. God will bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You've done more than enough. Thank you, ma. God bless you. God bless you so much. Thank you. Beauty, come and say thank you to Auntie Pandora. Thank you so much.
please don't say anything. This is my penance, okay? And let me do it in good faith. <sighs> I said don't say anything. Your eyes are saying a lot. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that was a smart move. But not a smart... Oops! No! Dora, I'm ready. Ah, oh, look at you. Where are you going? I have my first delivery today. Ah, Miss Entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> I see our business is booming. Well yes, done. Yes, thank you. So thank what you. did you make? Um, meat pies and ching ching. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let me know how it goes, all right? I'll be have on a my wonderful way. day. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Double customers. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, that's the least I can do. Hmm. Let's move the king. <gasps> Something in my brain caused this stress So come and make me feel different You wanna hold, don't hold back oh, Your little drama's got me mad And I don't need to tell you facts Good evening, sir. Good evening. Chop now, now, by Oli. Abby? You are not supposed to be associated with anything that's coming. Now, now, Abby, you know what now, now I mean? Sharp, sharp. That means even if I was in the toilet sheeting and I made my order, by the time I come out, it should be ready by my doorstep. Ha, ah, sir. Sir, please, I'm very, very sorry. It shows that the traffic along this lucky route is very, very crazy. I'm very sorry, sir. Sir, I am not a late comer. And I promise you that I will come early next time. I hear you. Yes, sir. How much is it again? Um, it's... It was, um, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Now, wow. Hey! So, is everything okay? Hey! Hey! Hey, Kodu! Ah! Sir? Is, is, is everything okay? Is, is everything okay? What? I, 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 that's food. I mean, two people, how many hours to bring it? No, I, I managed to say, let me try and cook jello fries because I was waiting. You, because of you, now that jello fries I've bought. Oh. Because of you. Sir, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, but can I make another one for you if you do not mind? You know, just to make up for my coming late. Consumer's rights, sir. Eh? Yeah. Yes. Sir, your food is ready. Okay. Mm. Mm. Smells good. Thank you. I hope it doesn't taste bad. I hope you didn't put poison inside this food. Ha, <laughs> sir. In less than two hours, you've managed to call me a late comma, a bad cook, and a bad person. Ah, uh -uh, now. for my late coming. Oh, Charlie. 
partially. Okay. I want to be eating something like this every day. Why not, sir? It's what I do, right? Mm. I'll be at your beck and call. But I must tell you that my services do not come cheap. Did you see where you are? Do I look poor to you? Anyways, thank you for this meal. I love it. You're welcome. For my next order from chop chop fast fast now. <laughs> see, I'm, 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 I'm making it look good. Hmm? So from chop chop now, you cook for me uh, a bushy soup. I'll pay. Why not? I like that. I'll do it, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Welcome back. Good evening. I'm so sorry. I, I, I had... Where have you been? What happened? Oh, there was crazy traffic on the road. But your phone, you would have returned my call now. I'm so sorry. My battery died. Um, where's Purity? She's upstairs. She's, she's asleep already. Oh. Let me go see her. Yeah, I really got nervous. I'm so sorry, Pandora. There was traffic. It's fine. Let me see purity. You again? What do you want this time? Fried rice and plantain. Can you actually light a match? so bad in the kitchen but I still want you to do the cooking please okay I'll come this afternoon so what do I keep for you anything all right don't keep me waiting it come on <laughs> I don't blame you now I don't blame you <laughs> funny guy it seems like purity might have a father figure soon Oh, no, man. I mean, Pandora, no, it's just my troublesome customer, always on my neck. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. I know you'd get over it soon, but now that explains all this, your late night arrival that you say it's with traffic, I know. No, 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 It's really. okay. No, no, he's just my customer, <laughs> you know, well, he, and he has a great sense of humor. We all need bad. that sometimes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'm happy you're moving on. That's really nice. Thank you. Thank anyway, you. let me get going, okay? I'll be back soon. Okay. Mmm, smells good. Thank you. Make extra for me. I will. <laughs> See you when you come back. Bye bye. Oluchi, this is really good. Oh, thank you. You know, you really do know how to cook. I think I'll start patronizing you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my late husband taught me so well. He knew how to cook. Yeah, I know that. You know? How do you know? Um, well, that's easy. Most Igbo men I know cook better than your women. It seems like you guys knew my husband so well. How do you mean? Like he ran other errands for his madame. Well, that's no news. Of course he was. Even a secretary these days doubles as a PA, a receptionist, and sometimes an errand woman. So it's no biggie. You're right, you know. Of course I am. Always. Excuse me. Hey. 
Are you okay? Yeah. I actually think it's time for that Oluchi girl to leave. <laughs> Is it because I said she's now exploring? No, it, it's not that. I think she knows. Knows what? Well, she asked the prying question and then she just has this suspicious look all over her. Oh, please. She doesn't know anything. She's just basking in, you know, on her new life in Lagos. I can tell you that for free. I'm tired. Let me go upstairs. Come on. Pandora. Pandora, you're not getting what I am saying. Pandora. What are we celebrating? Hmm. Am I not supposed to be in the kitchen cooking? Uh, sit first, sit down. There you go. Leave kitchen for now. <laughs> we are celebrating life. Is life not worth celebrating? It is. It is really. I mean, mm -hmm. I have all the reasons to celebrate because Recently, life has dealt me a good fate. When has life dealt you a bad faith? We all have our stories to tell. Don't we? No, no, I, I can't. Um, it's. I'm sorry, I. I it's, I, it's not what it looks. I can't. I. I cannot. Hey. Um. Oluchi, is that you? Uh-uh. Goodwin! Oh my god, you look so uh, good! Uh, <laughs> Goodwin, wow! Oh. Yes, thank you! How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> you look so good, wow! Uh, uh. <laughs> thank you, Goodwin, thank you. Uh-uh, it's good to see you. See me here. 
I heard what happened. Well, I traveled to Oshu State, and before I could come back, or more, Jidena passed. I'm so sorry. What can I say? I've made peace with this situation. God knows best. I even heard you relocated to Lagos. Yes, I did. Oh. I did. Mm. Jidena's former boss, his madam, took me on my daughter under his wings, and things have been a little rosy. We give God all the glory. Pandora. Yes. That evil witch. That old ag. Calling your phone all day. You didn't take any of your calls. To be very honest, Oluchi, I didn't tell you to stay in my house or help you to start a business for you to start messing around with men. No. I would give you one advice, okay? And I want you to take it. Focus on your business. Yeah? Don't get distracted. These Lagos men are not what they seem. Especially that one that you're following. I knew there was something about you and your gifts. It didn't sit well with me. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? You took my husband from me and you killed him. Pandora, you killed my husband. A poor man that came to Lagos to make earns meet. I knew all the signs were pointing to something. His bangles in your office, his boxes in your home, his pictures on your phone all suggest one thing. That he had something more with you. <laughs> You're a murderer! I am not a murderer! Trust me, I'm going to put I am you. not a murderer! Don't call me that! How dare you call me a murderer, you ungrateful wretch! Your husband led me through the dark. I didn't know that he was married. I had no clue that your husband was married. I only found out on the day that he died. You lied to me that he was driving home, but it was you who sent him on an errand. I sent him on an errand. That's the excuse. Compared to the lies of the omission, compared to his backstabbing, <laughs> his manipulating, <laughs> he lied to me. <laughs> I had no clue that he was married. None. Not even one hint he gave me. He didn't tell me he was married. And you killed him! How did I kill him? You killed him! You watched me gnashing my teeth in sorrow. I... I never even knew that the devil was closer than I thought. Why didn't you say something? Pandora, why didn't you tell me? I might just have understood. What was I supposed to say? What was I supposed to say that, oh, hi, I am dating your freaking husband. I did not kill him. Why would I kill a man that I loved? A man that I cared about. A man that I thought would complete me. Tell me, do you know what I am going through? Why would I kill him? Why? He was there for me. Why would I kill him? I swear with everything I own. I swear by the blood of my husband, Jidena, you will go in for this. Go to business with your help and support. <laughs> I am going to leave your house. Yes. But you are not going to go scot-free. You mother. Luchi, please stop. Please. Stop. Hello? Hello? I'm at number six, Alberta Estates. Lucky phase one, please, do you mind coming to pick me up? 
Now I'm in distress. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing, Pandora? I can't take this hit. I have been used, betrayed, and humiliated. No, not any longer. I'm standing up for myself. How did you do it? You Jezebel from the pit of hell. No, tell me! How were you able to look me in the face? Played the good Samaritan, whereas you were sleeping with my husband and eventually killed him. I killed your husband? I killed your husband? I killed your deceptive, manipulating, conniving husband? The husband that tried to lure himself into my heart? Knowing that he was married to a trap like you. I killed your husband! I I think she did what she did because of the guilt she felt. <laughs> it was never her fault. Your late husband never told her he was married, nor had a child. Okay, take for instance, what happened between us? Before now, I never knew you had a child. No, you were married. Of course, I didn't ask you. So you never told me. This could be exactly what happened between your late husband and Pandora. Oluchi, the best gift you could give yourself now is to forgive. Because you need to heal. Okay? You talk like you know so much about her. Surprisingly, she was my ex. Yeah, we, we dated and I, I messed up everything. Oh Big time. She was so good to me. We were a perfect pair. But I messed up everything. I did. You and your daughter, you, you don't have to go back. Am I a bad person? Of course not! Look, she still would have found out one way or the other. You're a good person. There's absolutely nothing else you could have done. You did the right thing. Everything just feels different. I guess I miss them. I don't know. I just hope she forgives me. Look, I'm sure she will. Just give her some time.
I'm sorry for everything. I was wrong. I was wrong for treating you the way I did. I guess I never deserved you. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's the past anyway, and I have moved on and I've found peace with myself and the situation. It's fine. That's cool. That's cool. Hey. I will excuse you too. Hi. You look good. You do too. I'm really sorry about everything. Your husband was a good man. A very nice man. I learned a lot from him in the space of few months, just being around him. I know this may sound very silly. I actually thought I found my missing rib. I thought I found my partner. I made a mistake. I, I blame myself. I am an adult. I should have asked him. I should have asked him. Did you have anyone in your life? Were you married? I guess I was lost in the motion. I was lost in, in the situation. I'm sorry. I really meant well for him, though. I see. It's quite evident. Your benevolence can tell. I mean, I equally enjoyed it. Jidenna was such a nice man. When I met him, I never had hope of a better life. But he assured me that I deserved more. The reason that he went to the city to make it better tomorrow. <laughs> Honestly, I should blame myself the more. A man that was away from home for, for a long time. I should have known that there was something suspicious. Considering the amount of money he was spending to me, which was far above what he was earning. Pandora, I think we are both to be blamed in this lies of omission. No, no, no. We shouldn't have to blame ourselves because of one man's mistake. The truth is he was at fault. He took advantage of us. And that's the truth. I really shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Exactly. You're such a beautiful soul. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, guys. Uh, I couldn't help but. Uh... So I guess we should at least toast you know, to new friendship, <laughs> to more money, to good luck. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, this is first. Mm. <laughs> 
Thank you. You're welcome. He's a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> that he is. <laughs> Mm. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> uh. mm. Are you two like a pair or something? Yes. <laughs> he actually told me what transpired between you two. And he assured me he's a changed man. I'm sure he has changed. And what can I say? I'm happy that you found happiness. Aww. Thank you, Pandora. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You know what? To a new chapter. A new chapter. A new chapter. <laughs> <laughs> I give my everything to you, but you have shut my heart inside the locker, inside the locker. You know I'm the deepest, I cannot take your excuses no more, no more. Soon go like regular, cause I'm done going in circles, I know. I owe you nothing, I paid off my debt I owe you nothing, I owe you nothing I am the carry go the go I would rather chop and die alone you know? I need you, oh, I need you, oh. No stress, man. 